In this video, we'll create a Bootstrap 4 responsive navigation menu with HTML5. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. As you can see in the upper right hand corner, we have our navigation menu links here. And then to the left, we have the Bootstrap text, where I'll show you how you can add your logo in there uh, later in the video. And then here we have our responsive navigation once we flex the website down. And when we click on the link, there we have all of our navigation menu items displaying vertically instead of horizontally. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. In the description of this video will be the complete download as well as the Bootstrap 4 starter file here, index.html, where I'm going to have it open with Sublime Text, the free text editor, and I'll also have it open in Google Chrome as we build the navigation so we can watch the development. All right, so let's go over to index.html in Sublime Text and go over what's included in the starter file. So at the top, we have the title, Bootstrap 4 Navigation Menu, and underneath that, we have the Bootstrap CSS file for Bootstrap 4, followed by the latest version of jQuery, and then the latest version of popper.js, followed by bootstrap.js with bootstrap4. All right, so I'm just going to type in a little bit of info here into the body section to make sure we're connected to Google Chrome to watch the development. Okay, and there we are. And now let's go ahead and go back into the body section to get started with the first tag. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to add is the nav tag, the HTML5 nav tag. And we'll say nav class, nav bar, and then nav bar dash expand dash LG, so LG for large, or 992 pixels in bootstrap. And then nav bar dash dark, and BG dash dark. So dark is the theme with that sort of dark blue color there that's uh, pre-styled for us. So there we have a little bar displaying at the top. And then by saying expand LG, basically anything over 992 pixels will be seeing the horizontal version. So now let's say div class container. And then you can use container fluid also to push the uh, the bootstrap text as well as the links all the way off to the left and right. And let's say a class navbar dash brand for the bootstrap text. And then we'll have a link here. We'll just do the hashtag, but you can do index.html if you want. And then in between our a tags, I'll just write bootstrap here. Or you can add the image for your logo right here where it says bootstrap. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have our bootstrap text added. All right, so let's go ahead and get started on the drop down button. So we'll use the HTML5 tag button and we'll give it a class and say navbar dash toggler since this is our navigation toggle button and we'll say type button and then data dash toggle collapse because it operates our collapsing navigation menu. And then we'll say data dash target equals hashtag navbar and then responsive with the capital R. Okay, and then area dash controls equals navbar responsive with the capital R. And we're going to create this ID, the ID for that in just a moment. And then area expanded false. And then area label toggle navigation. 
Okay, so now we can drop down and close out our button tag. And inside of our button, so if we refresh right now, we're just going to see a little sliver of it. But inside of that, we'll want to have the icon. So let's go ahead and add it. So we'll say span class and navbar dash toggler dash icon. Okay, so now if we refresh, there we have the sort of hamburger menu icon for the drop down collapsible navigation. All right, and then underneath the button tag, let's go ahead and add our actual navigation items here. So we'll say div class collapse space navbar dash collapse, and then we'll add the ID for the navbar responsive uh, data target that we added. So navbar responsive with a capital R. And then we can close out that div. And inside of it, we'll have an unordered list. So we'll say ul class navbar dash nav, and then ml auto, which will push the navigation links off to the right. You can do mx auto to center them. Okay, and then inside of that, we'll have the first list item. So we'll say list or list item class, li class, nav dash item. And since it's our first one, we'll have it active. Okay, so if we refresh, this is going to be for the home link, which is active. And then let's say a class nav dash link href and you can do index.html or the hashtag for your link and then home and optionally we'll say span class sr dash only so this is for folks who use uh, screen readers and we'll just let them know that this is the current page and then we can close out our link all right, so now if we refresh, there we have our first link with the home text displaying. OK. All right, so let's go ahead and add the rest of our links here. So we can just copy this nav item and then paste the li there. So we can just take out active and take out the span class sr only. And I'll change this to about. And if we refresh, there we have our about text displaying in the gray shade. All right, and I'm just going to copy this and paste it a few times here for the rest of our links. So we have services, portfolio, and contact. Okay, services, portfolio, and then lastly, contact. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh. And there we have all of our navigation links. OK, so that does it. I want to thank you for watching and sticking around with me through this tutorial. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.